Alright, welcome back. Uh, we've just now reloaded the stream and uh, just to see uh, if it works any better because the first one did go on uh, quite a long time. So we will now see if we can find the, uh, the new, new one. Let's just see what's going on, shall we now? We've now put a new channel up uh, with a template on the front so people can see what we're doing. Uh, hopefully we've got good sound. Well, that's, that's good. Well, well done. Even I have to say myself, uh, we seem to be getting the hang of this. It's not the easiest thing in the world to use all this software. I'm not a, a genius, being of uh, mature years. <laughs> I find a lot of this uh, way beyond me. Yeah, way beyond me, but uh, we, do, we do try our best. Uh, anyway, let's just see what we've got on the runway next, shall we? According to uh, flight radar, we've got a British Airways. Going to New Orleans. Flight number BA225. Heading out to uh, New Orleans. It's a Dreamliner. It's 787 version 8 Dreamliner. 10 years old. So we've got bendy wings again. So we we'll just watch this go up and it watches bendy wings. Uh, we do like bendy wings, don't we? Well, I do. Uh, We hope to reach a speed of about 170 miles an hour, but I don't know if we rotate and if we get down to the other side, which uh, is my reference point, uh, that's when we can make the planes take off. So, uh, head it down there. We should see the sign in a minute, and once we see the sign, we then know the plane's about to rotate. So, look out for the sign. Here comes the sign any second now. There's the neon sign. Normally when we pass the neon sign, the co-pilot says to the pilot, let's rotate, which is what he said there, and up we go before the R. And look at those wings bend. Never get bored of bendy wings, do you? Well, I don't. Anyway, uh, Alex is going back uh, to the next flight, which is, yeah, you got it. Look at it. It's a 380. And this one uh, is the 841 variant. This one's going to fly all the way out to Dubai. It's a nine year old plane. The flight registration uh, or the flight number is BA107. Uh, the registration for the plane is XLEG. It's an Airbus 380, as I did previously say. And it had a schedule takeoff time of 12.45, so we're about an hour ahead of schedule. Never looks like they're going fast enough when they're heading down the runway, do they? They just never do. You get those little planes go down there like an F1 car. These things need to plod down there like a like a HGV lorry. But they do reach a speed of nearly uh, 180 miles an hour because that's what they have to achieve to rotate, depending on how much weight they've got on them. As you say, we get past the sign. There you can see the sign. It's not to rotate it yet. It's about to rotate now, just by the R. So that's okay. And up we go. Now, are we going to get that slight dip, which sometimes we get on the 380? Yeah, it's pointing to the left, uh, and that's the way it goes out. Uh, 
in come the wheels yep they're coming in nicely look at that uh, Alex is stay, staying on the 380 which is good because uh, as you say the camera is fully automated it's an AI camera hence the name Alex AI Alex yep you know yep and uh, it uh, is controlled by a non-human person so we are in the hands of God <laughs> is God human I'm not sure <laughs> anyway please do <laughs> oh dear me Look at that. Uh, air is disappearing. We've got a nice high cloud base today, so we can follow the planes quite a long way as long as Alex stays on the camera. Uh, as soon as a, uh, a plane appears at the end of the runway, he will come back. Here we go. Yes, we do turn right then. We've just gone past the local village. And say so when the planes take off, they, they take off straight, and they bear to the left, go for about a mile and a bit, and then they bear to the right. They go past the local village. Uh, he mustn't upset the local vicar, who doesn't like the planes flying over his church. No, can't upset him anyway. And look at that, it's going to disappear. We have stayed, Alex has stayed on this one quite a long time. So we're not quite sure what we've got next coming up. Uh, it could it could be Air Portugal. Uh, it could be American Airways. <laughs> and what's the third one here? we got three planes at the end of the runway, so what's the third one? Uh, <laughs> it's the British Airways. It's typical. No, no, it's not. No, uh, hang on. It's British Airways. I haven't got this one up on my list. No. Ah, uh, here it is on the runway. There it goes. There we go. We've just found it. This is BA314. BA314. Heading to Charles de Gaulle in Paris. Paris, gay Paris. Yeah. It's uh, flight number 314. We did give you that. And it's a 3 ever Street. It's nine years old, this one, first of June 2014. We seem to have got rid of all the moisture on the runway, which is good. Uh, I'm not sure what the weather forecast is for this afternoon. I'll have a look up in a minute and let you know. Uh, nice early takeoff if you're going straight up. Yes, we are. Look at that. Now, that uh, that's a mid climb. Uh, we did have one yesterday that virtually went up vertical. I thought it was thought it was Elon Musk with one of his SpaceX rockets. He just flew off. And then we've got another British Airways on the runway now. Again, uh, uh, um, this could be a well, it is. Uh, no, I can't. I can't see it at all. Yeah, you know, British Airways. Where is it? Uh, no, no uh, do apologise. Uh, Flight Radar 24 hasn't got this plane up on its system at the moment. Uh, as soon as it comes live on the runway, I'll tell you what it is. You can see it at the British Airways, 320, heading to, oh no, it's 319, I do apologise. This one's shooting up to Glasgow. Yep, it's up, going up to Glasgow. It's an Airbus, as I say, 319, and the flight number was 1484. So if you're in Glasgow, waiting to meet somebody off this plane, they've left Heathrow a little bit late. Uh, the uh, scheduled departure time was 20 to 2, and it's left at 2 o'clock, 20 minutes late, so not too bad. So, though you scheduled to arrive at uh, 5 past 3, I presume it'd be a few minutes late. Never mind, uh, I'm sure you won't appreciate yeah, won't mind that, will you? Anyway, we got a TAP Airways, which is the carrier from Portugal. So, we've got a plane going out to Lisbon now. This is uh, TP 1359, heading to Lisbon in Portugal. This plane's relatively new, it's only two years old. Uh, it's an Airbus 320, it's the 251N variant, uh, and it's heading to Portugal. Right, let's go and find my other camera just to see uh, how we're getting on. Right, we've got a British Airways uh, going out to. Uh, so I must get to know all these airport codes. Oh, I said going out to Oslo. Yeah, it's a uh, A320 heading out to Oslo. This plane is 15 years old, so mid-age plane really, not the old, not too young. As I say the oldest plane we've had today fly has been 30 years old. That was the United Airways one going out to uh, New York. 30 years old. So 
this is BAE 766 if you wanted to know the, uh, the flight number, BAE 766. Got an interloper sneaked in on the little runway on the side. As you say, there's two entrance points to the main runway one at the very end, and this little one on the side. And that's just sneaked out. Again, it's uh, British Airways. This is going to BCE. BCE being Venice, of course. Yes, I should have thought of that myself, shouldn't I? And this one's heading out to Venice. It's a uh, Airbus 320, and it's just three years old, this one. Just three years old, relatively, rel relatively young. The registration number of the plane, if you want to check the plane out, the information on the aeroplane, you can put this registration into the software, and it's TTNO. That's TTNO, is the registration number of the plane. And that one's heading out to Venice. Okay. Next one's going a little bit further. It's uh, Boeing 787, Dreamliner, Bindi. Uh, this one's going out to Mexico, Mexico City. And it's got a distance of 4,815 nautical miles to travel. So the have got wrapped up, get sat down. And get ready to... <coughs> to shoot off down the road. She is uh, going to get up to a speed of about 170, 180 miles an hour. I'm quite sure what the exact takeoff rotate speed is, but it is getting a move on. And as you can see, uh, it seems to have lost most of the moisture off the runway today, so that's nice. You can get a nice clear view, picture of the plane. And we go past the little sign here, the neon sign on the end of the building. And we should rotate. Come on, come on, get your... Oh, this is slow. Very slow. That's one of the longest ones we've had. Eh? Anyway, bendy wings, look at those. They do look stunning. Bend up to 12 feet, apparently. Anyway, Alex has got fed up with that. He's seen, obviously, enough Dreamliners today. He wants to go back and see what's coming next, and so do we, because it's Virgin Atlantic. Yeah. And they're going to uh, JFK. It had a scheduled takeoff at uh, 1 o'clock, and it's taken off at 2 o'clock. Airbus 350 heading off to New York, flight number VS uh, 45. That's VS 45. This plane's only four years old, first flew in July 2019. Now, as you can see, because uh, the American airplanes, this is the trouble with Alex, he, he's not quite sure, he, he likes following things that are moving, and if something moves in the background, it stays, stops, it stays focused on that, which is what the camera did then, it stayed on the American airplane, uh, American Airways flight, and did not follow the Virgin down the runway, so we'll just click on to American Airways, and we can tell you this one's going out to Dallas in Texas, yeah, it's uh, Boeing 777. Heading to Dallas, nine years old, first flew September 2014, and it's got a flight number of AA21, AA21, and that's going out to Dallas in Texas. As I say, at the moment we're the flights are getting away about one a minute, uh, just under a minute actually. You can see all the planes in the background, they're queuing up, but we've got a lot six planes in the queue waiting. And we've got some planes coming up to the drive slots and cruise ship looking underneath her. In about an hour's time, at about three o'clock, we should have runway changeover, which means this then becomes the landing runway. Uh, the one on the other side, which is the uh, landing runway at the moment, becomes the takeoff runway. Uh, most days it does change over at 3 o'clock, uh, subject to weather conditions. Right, what have we got next? Well, it's British Airways, BA125. That's British Airways, flight number 125. There it is, sat on the end of the runway. 
getting ready to go. Firing the engine up, it's going to Bahrain. Uh, it's only 2,753 nautical miles from Heathrow to Bahrain as the crow flies or as the plane flies. It's a uh, Boeing 777, quite an old plane this one, uh, not the oldest today, this one is just 24 years old. With the original engines? I don't think so, do you? Anyway, off it goes. Uh, more 180, 180, 190 miles an hour for it to rotate. It has shoot down the runway, just go past the neon sign, which is uh, coming into view any second now. Yeah, there's the neon sign. Yeah, it's coming in, and we get a nice rotate, nice early rotate, and off we go all the way to Bahrain. Oh, you got United Airways next. Yeah, this is a old plane again. United have a very, very, very old fleet. Uh, this is this United Airlines plane. Plane is actually 25 years old. It's a Boeing 777 heading to walls, as I did say, San Francisco. It's SFO. If you want the code for the airport, and it's flight number nine four nine nine four nine. Maybe take a long time. So let's find it. Just about now, I should think, don't you? Just past the sign. There's the sign there on top of the corner of that building. Can you see it? Yes, that's what I refer to as the neon sign. And then on the other corner, we've got that big letter R. And uh, that's the, uh, the other reference point. It's gone up quite steep. A little bit smoky engines then. But then they are 25 years old. Are they the original engines? I don't know. There must be somewhere, there must be an app you can find out where you can put the plane information in and find out what engines are fitted and what engines aren't fitted and when they've been serviced and maintained. There must be something there that tells you all that information. I haven't found it yet. If I do, I will make you aware of it. Right, uh, we've got a British Airways 320. Just going to nip over the pond to Dublin, capital of Ireland. This plane is 21 years old. It's an Airbus 320, the 232 version, going out to Dublin. If there's anybody out there that would like to have a natural and to talk to me, you're quite welcome to. Just come on the side, leave a chat, and we'll have a talk to you. As I say, uh, to the relatively new channel. Uh, I've only been broadcasting now for a week, and it's mainly test broadcasts at the moment, uh, until I can get make sure that... Uh, the system is solid and stable enough to uh, put it out full time. Anyway, this flight uh, is heading off to Dublin. Should have taken off at 20 to 2, and it's taken off maybe half an hour late. I always think anything within half an hour for Heathrow is totally acceptable, don't you? Yeah, of course it is. So, this one's going out to, uh, to Dublin. 21 years old, first of all, 2002. This one's going to go up quite steep, I think. Yeah, yes, hey, it's taken off early. And it will go straight up. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, quite a steep climb. Not the steepest of today. We've had steeper climbs than that. And we get a little bit of wobble then. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Alex has decided to go back uh, to tell us what the next plane is. It's uh, British Airways by the looks of it. Yes, it certainly is. This is uh, uh, British Airways going out to Stockholm. This is flight number BA-780, that's flight number 780, going out to Stockholm. Yep. This plane's only four years old, so again, quite a young one, British Airways. And uh, it's Airbus 321, the 251NX. So nice I must find out, must, must get a, a, a reference book that I can should have taken off by half past one and it's taken off just after two so again it's within the half hour it's only a short hop it's only 792 miles so it's about an hour and a half hour three quarters i would think to stockholm now oh, maybe a little bit longer one hour that's four o'clock taking off two yeah yeah maybe two and two and two hours 20 minutes i would think oh nice little bit of wobble there yep get the wheels in nice and early cut the drag down and what have we got going next uh, we got an airbus 320 again 
This one is not from uh, British Airways. This is a Lufthansa plane going to out to Munich. It's a nine-year-old plane. First flew January 2014. Uh, journey time of five hour, five five hundred and ten nautical miles. Flight number of uh, two four seven five. That's two four seven five. Seems to go quite quick, doesn't it? Uh, heading down the wrong way, so let's just see. Up he goes, and how steep will the climb be? No, that's a shallow climb. Oh no, there it goes steep then. Did you see that? It was a shallow takeoff, and then he really pulled back on the joystick, and off it went. You do tend to, if the steeper the climb, the more wobble you tend to get on the aeroplane, so uh, hence they go out a little bit shallower. Anyway, what we got coming next on the wrong way? So again, it's another British, uh, British Airways. Uh, this is going to... Bologna in Italy, yes, that's correct. It's an Airbus 320, flight number BA542. Anyway, very quick at the moment, about, I should think, about 35 seconds between flights. So we're obviously coming to the little rush area period now, rush hour. This uh, plane, uh, five years old, it first flew back in May 2018, Airbus 320. Bologna or Bologna, yeah, Bologna. I don't know if that's the pronounced co correct pronunciation. As you say, nice early lift. And now will he go steeper? Yeah, a little bit, and has he got some wobble? No, no that one's quite so that one's quite silly. Anyway, Alex has got fed up with that plane. He wants to go back and have a look at the next one. And unfortunately we are in his hands. So let's go and see the next British Airways. This one go, is a 319, Airbus 319, the 131 variant, heading out to Frankfurt. And this is flight BA 908. 908. Yep. Uh, Frankfurt's only 354 nautical miles away, so it should do that uh, in about an hour, an hour 20 minutes, I should think. Uh, again, hey, these little ones are shooting down the wrong way at a great rate, and not this plane, believe it or not. <laughs> First flew in the year 2000, October, so it's 23 years old. And early, early rotate. Yep, here it goes, and that, and now put it in steeper. No, that's a uh, no, shall I, yes, shallow, shallow lift off. Anyway, Alex is quite active today. He's going back to the next one, but we do have quite a lot of planes queuing up now at the moment. Uh, we've got an Air France now. This is Air France Airbus uh, 220. This is going out to uh, Charles de Gaulle. Uh, this is a relatively new plane, it's, uh, first flew October 2022, so it's just over a year old. It, uh, worst thing about this plane is it was scheduled to leave at 9 o'clock this morning. So in fact it's three, three, it's over five hours delay, oh dear. I wonder the reason being, was it like late to arrive or has it been held up, did it have a tech? I'm not sure. I haven't got that information. Uh, must be somewhere I can find that. Anyway, it's, it's got a journey of uh, 189 nautical miles to get to Charles de Gaulle, so it's only it's not too far away. Should do that in about an hour, hopefully. <laughs> hour 25 minutes is the scheduled travel time from Heathrow to. Hey, we got a biggie. Yes, what have we got? It's the Great 380. Yes, it's the Airbus going out to Dubai. Yeah, it's Emirates. This is uh, uh, Emirates uh, flight number two. Yeah, going out to Dubai. Yeah. Place relatively new. This must have been one of the last uh, 380s of the production lines. Only two years old. First flew March uh, 2021. So it must have stuck, uh, been stood at uh, uh, to, to lose at the Airbus factory for, for a little while because I thought they stopped production a long way before that. Anyway, this one's just two years old. Uh, registration number of the plane. If you want to check all the information out about the plane, you can do. You just have to type in A6 EVS AV6S and then you can find out what the plane's up to. Yep. Anyway, it's an Airbus 380 flying out to Dubai. Distance of about 2,971 miles. It had a scheduled takeoff at uh, 13.40, so not too bad. It's within the what I call the half hour. But he has been sat there for a little while now, isn't he? He's not getting off as fast as what we think. So are we doing a runway inspection? Or are we, has Charlie turned up again? No, 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 Charlie's not on the runway. 
Charlie, by the way, is the Heathrow box. If, uh, if you've never seen him, uh, quite often uh, you can see him. We haven't seen him today. So, uh, anyway, the Emirates plane, the flight number number two, heading down the runway now. It's a 380 with the 8 tub 4 2 variant. Certainly not going fast enough to take off. No, that is that is going too slow. We had no excitement on the runway today. Yesterday we had a rogue come in, and we had one plane that only got halfway down the runway and then stopped and had to go back and start all over again. Uh, we think there was something on the runway and they had to abort it. Well, it was definitely going fast enough because it has rotated well before the R. The three eighties normally go off after the R. I suppose the R could be stand for rotate, but I don't think. I think it's just the end of the word. Heathrow. <laughs> no, because that'd be W, wouldn't it? Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I must find out what uh, what that word is on there. Anyway, the wheels have gone in, so the plane should bear to the left, which is what it done. And then when it goes a little bit further, it'll bear to the right. This is so the flight path doesn't go over the village, which is stuck at the end of the runway at Heathrow, uh, because it upsets the local vicar. And uh, one thing you mustn't do in England is upset the local vicar. So this plane should bear to the right slightly. If it doesn't, then I don't know. Come on, Alex. Anyway, I'm in the hand of Alex. I can't hold on this plane. If Alex decides to go back for the next plane, we will go back for the next plane. Yes, we certainly, certainly will. But uh, no, no, this one's going left, even going left more. So obviously the vicar's been on the phone and said, uh, I don't want that big plane flying over my church. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Anyway, yes, Alex has got fed up with watching that plane, so he's going to go back and we're going to have a look at the next one, which is on the end of the runway. Um, what have we got now? It's uh, the Air Algeria one, going out to Algiers. It's a uh, Airbus 330, yes. Uh, just eight years old this plane. I do like the livery on this. It's a bit different than some of the other planes. Uh, it's, it's only got a journey to a journey of about 900 feet of the mile. So should take a couple of hours to get there. So this plane's eight years old. The flight number is awaiting to meet somebody. It is flight AH2055. That's flying from Heathrow to Algiers. Well, uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's uh, tuned in to uh, my uh, stream, which has now got live chat and info on it, which is supplied by me. Uh, I am not at Heathrow Airport, by the way. I am in my little studio or office, if I know what we want to call it. It's, it's a desk with a computer. Uh, and I actually put the flight information, the audio flight information, over the top of the video stream, which is streamed uh, on YouTube by a company called Fly Flight Focus 365. They actually uh, do the video stream. And at the moment they're supplying it free of charge and hopefully they continue. So that means I just piggyback on this stream and stick the audio on top of it. Though so their stream is wonderful and they do have the ambient sound with the airports taken on and off. They don't give any more information at the moment. I've got a feeling that will come online soon and they master that. Master that. So anyway, we've got Sun Alliance uh, playing on the moment. Sun Alliance. Sun Alliance. That's an insurance company in England, by the way, Sun Alliance. Uh, I do apologise because we have the first check down. This is the Air, Air India one, uh, which is flying under the banner of Star Alliance. Uh, this one's going out to Delhi in India. This plane's 16 years old, believe it or not. Yeah, it's 16 years old. It's Boeing 777. And the variants, the 337ER. Uh, as I say, we'd had a scheduled takeoff time of half past one. We're just uh, coming up to half past two, so it's only an hour late. I, that's, uh, that's not too late to make that. With a long trip like that, they can normally make the flight time up. Normally do make it up. Uh, next one on the runway is the American Airways. I can't tell you nothing about it at the moment because I haven't got it on uh, on flight well, radar 24. Uh, flight radar 24 is the uh, app that I use that gives me all the information on the airplanes. Uh, sometimes it does miss the odd plane, which is obviously missed this one at the moment. Now, has it missed it? That's just might be interesting to find out. What happens was when the plane gets halfway down the runway, it does actually come up on the screen. The reason why it's listed is because it's about a time. You know, it, uh, it's listed as a proper slot. No, it hasn't come up on the on the screen at all. So it looks like I can't actually tell you where it's going and what it's doing. Uh, it could be a real. Ah, there it is. It, 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 it's on there now. It's uh, yeah, it is British Airways. It's going to Char uh, Charlotte in Carolina. 
No, no, it's basically on time. It was scheduled at ten past two, and it's uh, taken off at uh, half past two. No, no, it's on time. So there's no problem there. It's a triple seven, the two two three ER variant. It's twenty three years old. It has been flying quite well, so that's quite good. Has got the original engines. I've got no idea. There must be a way of finding out. And if I'm finding out, it tells me how to do it. I will pass it on to you. Anyway, the nautical mile, the distance is three thousand four hundred and sixty seven miles from. A to B, A being London Heathrow, and B being Charlotte, Carolina. Anyway, the next one on the uh, runway, you can all see it because it is a Air Serbia. This plane flew yesterday about the same time, so obviously it's a daily scheduled flight going up to Belgrade. Uh, scheduled to leave at 20 past one. It's running a little bit late, but not too late. This plane's just 90 years old. Got a registration number of U. Y, sorry, let's start again. It's got a registration number of YUAPD and the flight number is 381. Uh, the travel distance is 920 nautical miles to get from A to B. A being here, London Heathrow, and B being Belgrade. Anyway, we seem to be on hold at the end of the runway for a little while. Why? I'm not quite sure. Uh, we need to put. Uh, some charge on my phone in a second or otherwise I'm going to lose flight radar 24 so let's find the lead we've got one and let's plug it in yeah there we go yes if you were to sit say to my uh, my desk here in the office or the studio or flight control whatever you want to call it uh, and we got wires all over the place everything connected up to everything I, what do I actually use uh, uh, yes, I have one computer to import the stream from, from Flight Focus. I then stream that to another computer, which is operating Prism Live Studio, which is my software that I use to broadcast to YouTube. And then I have uh, a big screen with Flight Radar 24 on that gives me all the information. And then I have a little phone on the side that actually monitors the YouTube channel to make sure that everything's OK. And every now and again, which is what I'm going to do now, I can just pick up the earpiece yeah, to make sure there's still sound on it, because I have had the sound drop off on a couple of times. So that's basically the technical setup that I've got here. I'm hoping to work out how I can actually put the flight radar onto the screen so we can flip from one screen to another. But I haven't worked that out yet, and I'll have to flip it next week. It's got more to do. Anyway, we've got a KLM. Obviously, I know to Amsterdam. Yes, it certainly is. It's a large box. Uh, 737, Boeing 737, a yeah, 16 year old plane heading out to Amsterdam. It's uh, KL uh, 1012 and it's going off quite early. Yep, and yeah, just before the neon sign with a low, no, quite steep. Yeah, it's gone up quite steep. Any wobble? Yeah, there's the wobble. It, they, you get the wobble from the wind that blows over Terminal 5, which is that big building which you saw there. Uh, gives a little bit of an arc, uh, 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 updraft which affects the flight path of the plane. Anyway, we've got Aer Lingus now. Yeah, looks like it's going to Shannon. Yes, it is going all the way to Shannon in uh, in Ireland. It should have take, taken off at uh, just 10 minutes ago at uh, 15 minutes past two, and it's uh, 25 minutes past two. So that's well done within within uh, 10 minutes. That's that's quite good. Brand new plane, first flew June last year. Anything under a year that can be classified as a brand new plane. It does look pretty and clean, uh, heading at a great rate of knots. Uh, go up nice and early, yes it does. And will it go up like a rocket? Yes it is, look at that. Yeah, that's uh, one of the steepest climb outs we've had today. That'll do a big UE and then set off to Ireland. That was an Airbus 320. Oh, we've got an interloper. Yeah, we've got one sneak in. Yeah, this is, uh, there's two feet away into the runway. Uh, and sometimes you get this like a, a, a one of the smaller planes to sneak in on in here because it doesn't need the whole runway to take off. And it'll sneak in in front of something else. And what it's done It sneaked in front of uh, and it's British Airways. And it, sne it sneaked in front of a Euro wing by the looks of it. Uh, which will be the next flight. Anyway, this is British Airways. I can't tell you where it is and where it's going because it's not on the system at the moment. It's, uh, it's an interloper. Yep, interloper. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, it's going off to somewhere, and I shall tell you in a minute where it's going to. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank anybody who's watching. Hope you're enjoying uh, the uh, 
the stream with the audio information. It's actually going out to Munich. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you want to go to Germany. Again, a brand new plane. This was November 2023. So I think this is possibly the newest plane we've had fly today. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, flight number BA954. Flying to Munich. The distance to Munich is just 500 and the 11. Yeah. Air miles. Yes, it was Euro Wings. That was the next plane to take off. Was Euro Wings? It's going out to Hamburg. It's uh, EW seven four six three seven six seven 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 Oh, I hope you're enjoying the stream today. Uh, this is uh, unusual for me to broadcast on a Saturday. This is only the... Uh, I started on my... I woke up Monday morning this week uh, after Christmas. Uh, bored silly for what, what shall I do? What I think I'll start uh, an aircraft channel. Yeah, something to do, you know. At my age, you, you, you have these mad, mad half hours. And here we are, sort of five, six days later. And uh, we've got a little stream working with flight info and everything on it so people know what's going on and uh, what uh, we've had positive feedback, which is good. Uh, been a bit of a checkered week, I must admit. The first four broadcasts I did, I literally did it to myself because it wasn't going out. No, YouTube didn't pick it up or I didn't push the right button. So I'm not going to blame YouTube, I should blame myself for pushing the right button. That as it was two ways to skin a cat, as they say, is I now mean, have my work out of those two YouTube, so I can actually watch myself. Very fair. So we can now make sure that uh, we are live and we don't drop off, because now and again, apparently, it can drop off, and if you don't know, you could be here for three or four hours talking away and talking to nobody. And that would be sooner, wouldn't it? Anyway, if there's anybody out there who would like to leave a message, please do, please, please, please do. Uh, uh, that's the only way I get to know whether somebody else is watching. Anyway, the next plane going out is going out to JFK. Let's, uh, let's just see what is which one is this then. Uh, again, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Got it. It, it, it appeared on the screen. Sometimes pl planes arrive uh, on, onto the runway and flight uh, 24 hasn't got it. And it's a 26 year old plane, first flew 1997, 26 years old, and it's going to, I'm not quite sure, I think it's going to Doha. It's flight BA123, flight radar 24, doesn't have no information on it at all, uh, apart from the fact uh, what plane it is. It's, it's the 777, and uh, with the variant of. 236ER. Next on the runway, we got a uh, 777 again. This is BA119. Flying to Ben. Where the hell is Ben Guali? I'm going to have to sort this out in a minute. So, anyway, let's just tell you about the plane. It's 23 years old. It's going all the way to there. And I'll tell you where it's going because I can put the route map up. Oh, it, it's, it's in India. Yeah, it's going. Oh, it's it's right in the mid middle of India. Yeah, wow, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So it's flying, it's flying, flying to India. Yes. Yep. So we now know where that is. So again, I've learned something new today. If you don't learn something every day, then it's not worth getting up, is it? That's the way I. So this one's off to India. It's flight number BA119. It's a guy travel distance of 29,000 miles. I'll work that out. 4,300. And to India. Yes, 
seems to be going quite slow again. I'm not sure why it's going so slow. Uh, I've got to finish, it's going to be a late takeoff or late, late rotate. I think it'll be well past the hour before it rotates, don't you? Let's have a look. Here's the neon sign. Yeah, there's the neon sign. <laughs> no! <coughs> Excuse me, it rotates just about right. So off we go, that's off going out to India. I got British Airways now going to Sofia, which is in Bulgaria. I did this flight many years ago. Well, maybe about four years ago, when we went skiing out of Batsko. But I didn't go with British Airways, I went to Wizz Air out of Luton. I think the flight was about £15 return. Cost me more money to get to the airport than what it did to fly halfway across Europe. Anyway, this one's a BA 890 flying to uh, Sofia capital of Bulgaria. This plane's 21 years old, first flew October 2002. It's stuck on the end of the runway there, just winding the elastic band up now, get it nice and tight so it can get its uh, escape velocity speed of about 170 miles an hour when the pilot can say rotate, rotate and off we go. Anyway, what's happening now? Come on then. No, we, got, we are sat there. So, are we having a runway inspection or is Charlie Charlie on the runway. Well, if it was Charlie, they've chased him off because we're now rotating. This is again flight uh, 890, British Airways, going to Sofia in Bulgaria. The registration number of the plane is EUUK. Hopefully, we'll reach a speed of about 60 miles an hour. Yes, guys, how much time on 70? I'm not sure how accurate this is. This one's going to go straight up, I get a feeling. We haven't had a SpaceX launch yet, have we? No. No, no, quite late actually. Oh, here we go, here we go, and... Yep, look straight up. Did you see that? Most of them was do that first to lift, and then they sort of flatten out a little bit, and then they climb. Let's get the wheels in, out of the way, stop the drag, and away we go. Oh dear. Alex wants to go back to the next one which is a British Airways. Yes, it certainly is. This is British Airways uh, Flight uh, 994. That's Flight 994. Quite a young plane, this one. It's only four years old. First flew in April 2019. It's an Airbus 321. It's the 251 variant. Again, it's on hold again. So we do have an under, off we go. This one's heading out to Berlin, Germany. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying the stream today. We don't have that many viewers, but uh, it will. This stream will get better and better as we go along, and more and more people up. Don't forget to as it subscribe, tick, whatever you have to do, so you can carry on watching it. Anyway, the uh, Airbus 321 is bouncing down the runway. Great way to not so. Uh, is it going to rotate yet? It looks like it could rotate. Yeah, yeah, nice and early. Good early rotation. Uh, Bit of a wobble. Did you stand? Look at that straight up. God! A bit of a SpaceX launch, that wasn't it. If we was in, yeah, bearing off to the left. Oh, Alex has had enough of that. He wants to see what's next, and so do we, don't we? What have we got coming next? We've got Swiss Air. Yeah. Where can Swiss Air go to? Yeah, <laughs> you've got it in one. It's to Zurich. Yeah, this plane's just three years old. Zurich, and it's only got a 426 miles to go, not far at all, about an hour and a half maybe, hour and three quarters to get there. Took off straight away, yep. It's flight number LX, which is code for Swiss Air, and 333. This one's going to go straight up again. I've got a feeling he's going to try and outdo the uh, British Airways SpaceX and see it. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, look, did you see that wobble? And look at that, straight up again. I told you he was going to do a, a SpaceX tonight. SpaceX is all straight up. Anyway, uh, Alex, uh, the camera, have decided to go back and concentrate on the next British Airways, which is 
which is going out again this one's going out to Basel in Switzerland so we've had two flying two planes to uh, Switzerland one after the other this is just a three-year-old plane the registration number of the planes TTNK TTNK with a G in front which means it's UK registered that's the G this one uh, should have taken off at 20 past two so it's only 16 minutes late well done it's got 388 nautical miles to go should arrive at five o'clock which uh, of course local time means it's four o'clock four o'clock five o'clock local time four o'clock UK time and uh, yeah that's not too bad at all so it's just uh, just a couple of hours to go out to there not, not, no problem at all with that short of distance the time it gets up the cruise you know it's going to be time to turn around and come back again isn't it uh, so this is uh, BA flight number 750 heading out to Basel. Well, let's say thank you for this watching. We, we're going to carry on broadcasting until we do change over. We should do change over soon. Wherever you change runways, which means this runway here becomes the landing runway, and the landing runway, which is the uh, on the other side of the airport, becomes takeoff. I think. Delta Airways. Ooh, wow, brand spanking new plane. This is, look at that. Uh, this Delta Airways, this is going to Los Angeles, LX, LAX, I should say. It's a, uh, a Airbus A330. Heading out uh, across the border to the west coast, to Los Angeles. Just one is off, just one year old this plane. It's the watching thank you very much for watching uh, this is just a little hobby that I do just play around uh, I am NOT at Heathrow Airport by the way no I, I utilize a stream that is supplied by a company called Fly Focus who have a fully automated camera an AI camera uh, located at Heathrow Airport which broadcasts continuous pictures like this uh, I've christened name it Alex so if ever I refer to Alex you know I'm referring to the camera because Alex does a brilliant job Anyway, we've got on the runway at the moment, uh, we, we've got a British Airways flight going out to Accra. This one uh, is again brand new. We've had some nice new planes for it. This is just due last year, so it's under a year old. And it's heading out to Accra. Should have taken this last one, but we'll be back today. Sorry if I'm being, uh, being silly, I'm just trying to think which country it is. It's come up with everything, but it won't actually give me the country. There's Nigeria, there's Benin. So Accra is what? The Accra thing is above, oh, Ghana. Sorry, <laughs> it's in Ghana. <laughs> oh dear me. I will take the pill. So this one's going out to Ghana, yep. Uh, it's a ACC, the code, and the code for the aeroplane, the flight number is BA81. That was headed out to Ghana. Where are we going to now? And we've got a British Airways going to uh, another Swiss airport. Uh, we've done Zurich, we've done Basel, so why not? Let's go to Geneva. Yeah. Lovely Geneva. It's only 407 miles, so it's not too far away. But Alex wants to stay focused on the 380. Why not? Look at that tail fin. It is such a, a work of beauty, isn't it? When then you see this little thing coming along in front of it, it's like, like mummy and baby, isn't it? Uh, Anyway, whether whether Alex is going to pick up the plane on the on the runway, I'm not sure. If he did, it, you know it would be the British Airways going out, uh, flight number 722 going to Geneva. But it is sat at the end of the runway at the moment, totally stationary, waiting for clearance to rotate, not rotate to to move off. Yeah, there we go. And it's got permission, so there we go. We can now go on that. And this is the British Airways flight number 722, heading out to Geneva. Plane, 22 years old. First flew 2001. That's 2001, first time this plane flew. The plane registration number is EUPY. 
Yeah, thank all the people from Flight Radar 24 for providing me with all the information, which I can pass on to you. I, if you haven't yet, I'm not going to use my aircraft. I'm going to get to the studio at home. I'm just going to be interested in the video stream that's supplied by Flight, uh, Flight Focus 365 uh, with commentary, chat, and uh, lots of uh, rubbish going on. But really, to give you the information of what planes are, where they're going, what they're doing. Unfortunately, they can't offer this service at the moment. Hopefully, they will do in the near future, which will put me out of a job. But then I can always find something to do. Hopefully, they do that in the spring when the weather's a bit warm and I can get out and about. Anyway, the next British Airways is uh, going up to Aberdeen in, in Granite City, the royal capital of the UK. This is flight number 1312, heading all the way up to Aberdeen. Now, it means this one's going to go straight up like a rocket. Take my word for it. Let's go rotate any second now. It'll rotate and then it will go straight up. A little bit of a wind wobble because it gets the wind. Yeah, and uh, you can see the build on the left hand side that's uh, Terminal 5 at uh, London Heathrow, and you do get a bit of uplift wind there which uh, affects the plane. Right to go is we've got a Air Lingus this one's going out to Cork in Ireland it's a uh, Airbus A320 heading out to Cork this one again brand new only uh, first flew October last year so uh, don't even think they've changed the oil yet have they? you remember when you used to buy a car you always had to change the oil after so many miles didn't you? you put an oil in I don't think you do it now with new cars do they? Somebody will correct me please let me but you always used to do that. You used to do, do 500 miles with a new car, and then you had to have an oil change to go from sort of start up to run. Anyway, off we go. This is the Air Lingus uh, flight going out to Cork. Uh, brand new plane, as I did say, flight number 715. Airbus 320. And here is the big booty. This is the Etihad that we were looking at, looking at uh, earlier on. This is the 380. Uh, so this will be going, will it be going to, uh, it's going to Abu Dhabi, this one's going out to Abu Dhabi, fully loaded, fully laden, uh, all rearing to go, picking up a great weight of nuts, again, this plane's seven years old, it's an Airbus 380, it's an A61 variant, so, never looks like they're going fast enough, do they? But I'm sure you do, they reach a speed of about 170 knots, so 170 knots an hour. Shall we see what happens? You can see we get down here and we just get past the sign in a minute, which comes in the neon sign. There's the neon sign just coming across on the end of the building. And normally the co pilot will say rotate, 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 and we get off before we go through the R. There's the R, and yes, wonder we got up there. Look at that. That is it's made. How does it fly? How does it stay up there? Never know, would you? Well, I wouldn't. I couldn't work it out, could you? Yeah. Anyway, off it goes. Bears off to the left. Miss the village. Mustn't upset the Vic. Must we? The Vic, sorry. Uh, in the little village there, who doesn't like planes flying over his house or over his church. In come the wheels, and away they go. Right, Alex should go back and pick up the next plane, which is uh, British Airways. Yeah. British Airways going out to Amsterdam. We will stay on this a little while because Alex doesn't like the 380 like we all do. And this one's going to fly all the way to uh, Abu Dhabi. Bearing round, yep, that's going well. Really, the camera stayed on that very, very good, isn't it? This, the people at uh, Flight Focus have worked very hard on this software. I know when I. I watched it first of all, uh, maybe six, eight weeks ago. Uh, it was all over the place, the camera. Uh, you know, it, uh, you had to follow a taxi down the road. <laughs> uh, but now they they really have got the software working well. I just hope. Oh, uh, no, because I said that, it's gone and done a big boo boo. And why has it done a boo boo? Because it spotted something moving. Yeah. yeah. 
Mind you, that looked as if uh, somebody was controlling it. The way it always oh, picked up the uh, the Qatar 380. Look at that. Yes, it makes me think that possibly they uh, back at their office somewhere they must have a joystick and they could control it. Let's thank them very much. Uh, there's the start of Sun uh, United Airways uh, Sun Alliance plane. And there's the uh, Qatar. There's nothing going on with it, is there? There's no fire trucks or anything around it. It's just sat there, all ready to go. It's not moving at all, so I'm not quite sure what they're up to. Anyway, let's go back to, uh, to the active runway. The active runway's got a British Airways flight on it, which is going out to Amsterdam. Yep, it's going out to Amsterdam. It's flight number 446. Airbus 319. In Amsterdam. 24 years old, first flew November 1999. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying the this, this, this stream we've put up today. Uh, and the flight information in the chat doesn't bore you silly. If it does bore you silly, then put the volume down to nothing. Or just move over to Flight Podcast 365's own channel, uh, where you can just watch the planes and listen to the ambient noise, and you don't have the luxury of me talking in the background which some people like and some people don't like but never mind you can't please everybody all of the time anyway the next plane on the runway is uh, British Airways it's the uh, it's going out to Copenhagen it's flight number 808 uh, British Airways to Copenhagen the plane's just 23 years old and again Alex has decided not to follow that one but to follow this one I'm not quite sure why he's decided to do that but he must have a good reason Anyway, I'd like to welcome everybody aboard Airport Life Stream. That's what I've called the channel now. We've had about four names. I seem to change the name every day of the week. But I think Airport uh, Live and Stream seems to sum it up. And we are at Heathrow. Uh, Heathrow is the London's premier airport. Uh, this is where all the schedule line airlines go into. And then flights come into Heathrow. Uh, it's the base for British Airways and for Virgin Atlantic. Uh, but uh, as you can see, the planes come in and go all day long. I think it's the busiest two runway airport in the world. There are busier airports, but I think they tend to have more runways than, than Gatwick. Gatwick only has two. We've been trying to get three runways for, well, since the year dot. Uh, don't, won't never happen until the vicar moves out of the church at the end of the runway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is an Airbus 319 heading out to Copenhagen. It's a 23-year-old plane. It uh, first flew in July 2000. Yeah, July 2000. Quite an old plane, really. Not the oldest plane today at all. We've had one at 30 years old. The United Airlines going to New York was 30 years old. Anyway, this one's heading down the runway. It's got up to speed. It's got up to about 170 miles an hour. Uh, it should rotate any second now. Uh, and this one's going to go straight up. I've got a feeling this one's going to go straight up. And it comes, rotate, and takes off. You now it goes that far, and then it pulls a stick back and goes straight up. Yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, get those wheels in. That's it. And bear to the left to miss the village. Yeah, well done. Great take off that one. Anyway, uh, Alex, uh, the camera, has now decided to go and pick up the next plane. Uh, I haven't got anything on the runway at the moment, but uh, I've got one turning onto the runway which it looks like it's an oh dear it says it's that but it's not that no no we have some confusion because according to flight radar 24 it should be air canada but it certainly is not air canada is it uh the other plane i can see in the background is uh yeah that's definitely definitely it's come up on my screen as air canada and no, that's the Egypt Air one. I've got that one. I haven't got... Sorry, I do apologise. I haven't got this plane on the screen whatsoever. So I can't tell you what it is until it gets halfway down the runway. When it gets halfway down the runway, then it comes up on flight 24 and I can tell you what it is. Yep, so save you looking. I hope you're all having a cracking day. I'm having a cracking day here. If it's the first time you've tuned to my channel, uh, welcome. Wish you aboard. Hope you're, you're enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, for those uh, to who haven't been here before want to know what I get up to and how I do it uh, I am not at Heathrow Airport no I am not uh, I am uh, 
at home in my little studio uh, where I just rebroadcast a, uh, a stream from the people at Flight Focus. So that plane that just took off was the British Airways 289 going to Phoenix, uh, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, yep, brand spanking new plane, July 23. Uh, it's an Airbus 350. Sorry about the limited information, but it didn't come up on the screen. Uh, so the next one we've got is Egypt Air going out to Cairo. Another place I've never been to, Egypt. Let's go to there. This plane's just 13 years old. It's a Boeing 777. It's the 36N ER variant going out to, uh, as I say, out to uh, Cairo. Flight number is uh, 778. That's 778. Flight number. Flying out to Cairo. bit of mist on the front of the engines means the uh, do like that uh, oh, what it is on this side there is it an eagle or, or what is it uh, yeah it looks like an eagle to me most of it is it's not like something totally different now I've got a foggiest idea what it is anyway it's flight number 778 heading out to Cairo that's with Egypt's air in a Boeing 777 plane's 13 years old it's flight distance of just under 2,000 miles. As a matter of fact, it's 1,910 nautical miles. I presume that's what it means up there when it says NM, nautical miles. Why planes use nautical miles and not air miles? <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear me, I am taking the pills and I will get better. Anyway, according to, to, uh, to Alex, the camera, we've got an Air Canada plane queuing up to take off. It's a 777. And this one's going out to uh, up to Vancouver. That's the other side of America, just above Seattle. Plane's just 16 years old. It's as I did say, it's a triple seven three 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 ER. The flight number is eight six one. Yeah, bit of compensation on some of the engines. There's a nice damp. Take off this one, doesn't seem to be getting up to speed as quick as they normally do. Don't think he put his foot hard down, I think he just put it slowly down. Anyway, he's up to speed now, he's up to his 180 miles an hour, and uh, we should get past the uh, neon sign as soon as we get past the neon sign, which is there. Can you see it on the corner of the building? He should say, Rotate, rotate, rotate. Come on, come on. There he goes, and we rotate on the R. Oh, did you see the wobble then? Yes, there was a bit of a wobble there, so we've got a bit of side wind at the moment. Uh, anyway, Alex, the camera, has decided to go back to square one, and we'll find out what we've got on the runway now. Hey, it's one of Richard's planes. Yes, it's a, without a doubt, it's a, a Virgin Atlantic going out to Mickey Mouse. Go and see Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse in Orlando. This is a A330 going out to Mickey Mouse land. It's a 11 year old plane, as I say, it's Virgin Atlantic. But uh, Alex don't like he don't want to watch it, he wants to watch the British Airways 380. <laughs> oh, he's now watching a little yellow van, you can see it, that's the thing that's moving. So we've got uh, uh, two 380s, I think we get three coming off one after the other. Or well, we did yesterday when I was doing my practice. We had 380s, one, 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 three, yeah, one after the other. Anyway, the first one's a British Airways uh, 380. Uh, this one's going to head out to, where's this one going? It's going to Doha. Uh, oh, no, no, hang on. No, that's the Qatar one. That's the one behind it. I haven't got this one. Oh, dear. That, 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 you know, flight radar is maybe messing me around today, isn't it? Yes, it really is. Uh, I can't find that plane anywhere, but there it is. It exists. You can't. You can't argue with it. It's sat there on the end of the runway, raring to go. And it's a British Airways one. Uh, flight radar's got the one behind it, but it hasn't got this one. Anyway, as soon as it gets down the runway, I can tell you what it is and where it's going. Because as soon as I get halfway down the runway, uh, flight radar 24 picks it up, and I can pass some information to you. Hopefully. <laughs> A bit of moisture on the runway, though I think that's because the, it's got the four edges and uh, most planes have got two edges, so you tend to clear the water in the middle of the runway and not the edges. So when the 380s go down, we tend to get a bit of a spray mess. Well, come on, let's pick this plane up. It still hasn't picked it up yet. It should pick it up before it rotates, hopefully. Here, there it is, and it's uh, yeah, it's going to Miami. 
Now this one uh, is going to Miami, yes, that's an Airbus 380, the A41 variant, it's 10 years old, it's flight number BA209, it had a uh, scheduled departure time of quarter past two, so it's coming up to three o'clock now, so it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Anyway, the next plane uh, due to take off is that Qatar one, which we saw behind uh, behind the British Airways, again it's a 380, uh, this one's going to Doha, yeah, and it started up straight away. Well done, that is quite good. So we can follow this one out. Again, this is a seven-year-old plane. It's a 380, and it's the A61 variant. So it's flight, flight reference number of <gasps> QR4, QR4. Yeah, distance, apparently, distance of 2,833 miles. And that's it, then to go there. bit of speed going along the runway. Yeah. The takeoff speed uh, varies. Um, this one's yeah, it's saying it's doing about 184 miles per hour. Uh, so uh, we should get rotate any second. Are we going to get a rotate? Yes, there we go. The rotation's doing quite well there and we get off before they are. Alright. Well, Alex is going to be a bit bored now because according to Flight Radar 24 we don't have anything at the end of the runway waiting to take off so are we going to have a runway change the runway change normally happens at three o'clock so let's just see what happens shall we so in fact what we should start doing is getting planes landing on this runway and the takeoff runway will be on the southern yes i think that's what's going to happen now uh yeah so uh be interesting to find out where the first plane is coming in have we got one coming in? I'm just going down. No, we haven't got one coming in yet. But I've got a feeling we've got nothing at the end of the runway. So yes, ah oh, yes, and we've got something taken off uh, from uh, the southern runway. We've got British Airways going out. Uh, oh no, it's landing, sorry. <laughs> oh dear me, I, I, uh, we've got uh, uh, American Airways plane going to queue up to take off in a second. So. Uh, where we're going to have planes landing on our runway any second now. I do a couple of them and then uh, I might close down for a little while because, as I say, I don't normally broadcast on a Saturday. Uh, this is purely a test, test copy. Just to see uh, if I mind out all the problems we had yesterday. And unfortunately, we did have a, a few problems yesterday with the, uh, a lot of buffering on the video, but we've changed the decoder and everything today. Uh, so hopefully, we've got no buffeting going on. And. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have we had crackly sound yesterday so we've had to uh, change the microphone setup round so now the uh, Alex uh, the camera is looking for something to find it won't find an airplane taken off because we are doing a, a runway switch round uh, we will soon get uh, a few planes coming in they will do a runway inspection I presume just to make sure the runway is nice and clean and then uh, we will uh, start doing some arrivals the first arrival should be just after three o'clock. Well, for those people that haven't seen my channel before, I'd like to welcome you all aboard. Uh, for those that are interested, I am not at Heathrow Airport. I do apologise for that. Uh, I am located uh, a little bit away from Heathrow uh, in a studio where I uh, download the uh, live stream supplied by the people at Flight Focus 365 and they supply a wonderful stream with an automated camera whose name is Alex which you must have realized by now and he tracks the planes in or and the takeoff planes and uh, and that's how it works and uh, they've uh, mastered the uh, video stream and the tracking which is brilliant they've now put ambient sound on it so you get the noise of the planes taking off or landing whichever way unfortunately they haven't mastered flight information yet i'm not sure whether they're going to do audio flight information or just do text flight information but that obviously will come soon uh, but in the meanwhile i've decided being bored and silly and mad that i will supply the information from my little studio at my house which is about three and a half hours away from gatwick anyway uh, what we on the screen at the moment you can see there's a Cathay pacific they're up to 
this is as I say this is purely downtime at the moment until we get some new flights coming in we are doing a runway change we are changing the runways over so the takeoff land the land takeoff runway becomes the takeoff the takeoff runway becomes the landing runway and the landing runway becomes the takeoff runway then we've got uh, the first plane going on to the southern runway which as you can see there is the American Airways um, that's going to be the first plane to take off from uh, the southern runway uh, and that's going out to Raleigh in Durham yep it's a 7777 got a 3366 nautical miles to travel that plane is just 13 oh sorry 17 years old uh, and that's about to take off any second now I think we could do with a plane landing. We obviously are doing a, uh, a runway inspection just to make sure that everything is okay. Yeah. Which I'm sure it is. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have to chase Charlie away. Who's Charlie, you ask? Charlie is the resident fox that we have at Heathrow. Uh, lived here for many, many years, whether it's the same one, or it's most probably a relative. <laughs> <laughs> of the original Charlie uh, they never succeeded in getting rid of him we also have uh, quite a lot of bird life on the airport which uh, they have uh, a uh, gang of people that drive around with uh, gun not guns to shoot them but you know, noise guns to scare the, b the birds off uh, because we can get flocks of birds on the airport as well I just do apologise for this. Oh, oh, we're going down. Have we got our first plane coming? It looks like it's going over. Alex has gone over to actually look for the first plane. So, where will the first plane be coming from? We ask ourselves. No, it's de well, it's definitely. Oh, here it is. It's coming in now. Yep, the the first plane landing uh, will be a British Airways, and uh, it's come from Amsterdam. Yep, it's coming in now. We should pick it up any second now. Yeah, any second now. We should pick the plane up. This is a British Airways uh, 320 coming in from Amsterdam. It uh, took off over just 50 minutes ago. It left. Uh, it left Amsterdam. So it's on an hour, which isn't too bad. Here it comes. There. There it is. In shot. Absolutely spot on. Well, and being led in by a seagull. <laughs> Seagull, Seagull's name was Cyril. <laughs> anyway, this is a 12-year-old plane. <laughs> it's an Airbus 720 uh, The flight number is 435. Yeah, flight number 435. <laughs> oh, dear me. First thing. Anyway, here it comes in. Bit of a wobble there. And coming in to land. How accurate does it land? It, are we going to get no miss miss the miss miss the stripes by a little way through? We're only going to score that eight. Yeah, for those people that uh, wonder what the silly also does, I, I saw sort of, they you know they've got a spot to hit, which are those those uh, like uh, the, the the lines across the runway, and I, I give them points to how close they get to the middle. If they get it bang on in the middle, they get ten, and then either side of that's nine, and if they're outside of the hash marks, it's only eight, and then we go seven six five four three two and fly around <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it just adds a bit of excitement to me it breaks my boredom because there's uh, i don't want to get bored do i anyway that was the first plane that landed that was coming from that one came in from uh, came in from uh, amsterdam the second plane to come in is going to come in from helsinki it's flight number uh, 1335 this one's coming in from helsinki uh it's a 22 year old plane yeah uh, it's operated by Finnair, so it might be a coach here, so it could have any colour paint on it uh, you want to pick. It's an Airbus 320. Uh, just coming into shot now. Just be patient. I think you have to be. Here it is, look at that. Uh, yeah, I know exactly now. So this is a uh, Airbus 320, and it's AY13. Yeah, and it's got the fin air livery. Well, I'll crack it. That's good. Let's just see how close it gets to uh, the correct touchdown point, shall we? Bit of a wobble there. It's getting the uh, the wind off the hangers. 
which does sometimes affect it, especially if the wind's driving from the left-hand side. That's close till we get to the hash mark. There's the marks. Now, chest missed it, only eight. Sorry, that's an eight point to that pilot. Uh, apparently a few pilots do watch and they do try to achieve uh, the target of ten points. <laughs> I think we had one the other day that actually hit the target. Anyway, that was... Uh, that was an Airbus 320 from Finnair, net 22 years old. First flew in January of 2001. That came over from, uh, as I say, came over from Helsinki. Uh, it's about a thousand nautical miles away, so not too bad at all. Arrival time, it's got a green green flag by it, which means it arrived on time, or within time. Yes, uh, scheduled arrival time was 15.50, and it arrived at 15.06, so did very well. Anyway, what's uh, what we got coming next? The next plane coming in is a larger one. It's a uh, 777. This one's come all the way from Tokyo. Yep, all the way from Tokyo, this one. Again, uh, it, uh, at a quarter past three scheduled time, it's come in before that at uh, eight minutes or ten minutes past, so done very well. And here it is in shot here. You can see it now. This is Japan Airways, flight number JL43. The plane is 17 years old. It first flew in July 2006. How accurate are we going to get? This is where it scores points. Points mean prizes. This is oh, this is going to be very early by the looks of it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Oh! Now, he could have dropped that and scored 10 points, but he's only going to get 8. Yep, I'm sorry. He, he, he was there all the time. He just didn't, uh, didn't retard at the correct time, did he? Anyway, as you can see, the uh, jet reversers have opened up on the side of the engines and all the uh, brakes, the air brakes have gone up and down, so that slowed the plane nice and quickly down. So that, that was good. So that was the JL-43 flight from Tokyo distance from Tokyo today was 5,192 nautical miles and it's got the green flag so that was ahead of schedule it should have arrived at quarter past and it's arrived at eight minutes past well done plane was 17 years old for those that are interested I think I've already mentioned that but uh, here we go for let's see what we got coming in next shall we the next plane coming in Alex is the uh, automated camera that we got uh, stuck on the end of the runway. It's not operated by me. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, I just want to thank the people at Flight Focus 365 who have located the camera there. Uh, which allows me to do the talk on top. Uh, so we've got a Virgin flight coming in from uh, Mumbai. Uh, next, it's a Airbus. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Airbus 350. It's an Airbus 350. Here we can see it. Got its wing. Got its wheels down. Good. So uh, reducing speed. It's got a landing speed of about 160 miles an hour. And uh, how how accurate are these? The Virgin pilots are normally very good. I'm sure they've got a little competition between them. Just see how close he gets to the hash mark. It's just wobbling a little bit. Yes, he's nice and low. He's coming in perfectly. Is he going to land it a little bit short? That one. Yeah, that's still only a maybe. That's only a high seven, low eight. I think he was a good 200 yards short of the uh, the target point. Uh, the plane there was only just two years old. Relatively new one for Virgin. It's an Airbus 350, and it's the 1041 variant. Uh, for those that want to know what flight it was, if you're meeting somebody, that was VS355, all the way from Mumbai. Yeah. Still, even though it's Mumbai, it's still got the uh, uh, Mumbai yeah. in India. I always get it messed mad at that with the what's it called? Mo uh, no, Mumbai is in India, and the Mombasa is in Kenya, isn't it? Yeah, I always get those two mugged up. Anyway, what we got coming in next? Um, We got uh, Nippon Airways. This, is this a cargo? It's a triple seven, Boeing triple seven. Come all the way from uh, uh, Tokyo. Here we comes, coming into shot here, nice and slow. 
don't think this is planes are only four years old, so I don't think it will be cargo. The only reason, re reason I I say that was because the way it come up on the screen. Let's have a look at it, because uh, it says Nippon Airway. Oh, it's got a lovely, lovely wobble on it, hasn't it? Cool, yeah. Yeah, really, really good, good little wobble. And here we come in. Yes, look at that. And just missed the uh, the hash mark. We'll just call that eight. Uh, landing speed was about 101 miles an hour. That came all the way over from from Tokyo at 5,121 nautical miles. Okay. Planes have been saved. It's only four years old. It's a 777 E300ER variant. The uh, plane registration number, if you want to check the plane out, is JA7. A and that's coming all the way from Tokyo. Well, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, as I say, I'm in the hands of Fly Focus, they're the people who supply the video stream for me. Uh, I just do a little chitter chatter on the top. I get my information from the people at Fly Radar 24 who do a brilliant job uh, most of the time. Now and again, it goes off, but we can always overcome those problems. And a bit of a gap coming up this time, so I'm not sure what we've got uh, coming in now. For those people that uh, like to know, uh, Heathrow Airport uh, is quite a long way out of London. Well, not a long way really, about 35-40 minutes. Uh, there are four major airlines that uh, airports that supply London. We've got Heathrow, which is the scheduled one, does more scheduled flights than anything else, or all the major airlines fly into. And we've also got uh, Gatwick, which does schedule and holiday charter flights. Anyway, what we got coming in next? We've got the the oh the China Eastern Airways, and this has got a, a, a people daily only livery. So let's have a look at this. This will be interesting. We do like our planes that have different liveries on them. It's an Airbus 330. It's only 10 years old, and yes, they've given this one a nice coat of red paint, haven't they? Yeah, I do like that. Anyway, a uh, bit of a wobble there. It's flight number 533, MU 533. And let's have a Oh, yes, it's coming down quite well. And this could be close. Well, I'm going to give that uh, eight and three quarters. That was nearly a nine. Nearly a nine. I do like that livery. Yes, that's a nice, nice plane. Again, that's a little bit late. That should have arrived at. Uh, at 1.30, but it didn't arrive until 15, quarter past three, so it lost an hour and three quarters, but it only took off an hour late, so it actually lost 45 minutes in its flight, so it obviously went the pretty way around Mount Everest instead of the other way. Yeah, Shanghai. The registration number of the plane was uh, uh, 5931, that's uh, B. 5931 Airbus 330, the variant 243, for those that are interested. But I did like the livery, very, very nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it was uh, slower than what it should have been, and why it took such a long time to uh, come this 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 far. Ah, uh, it did a bit of a, yes, I see. Yeah, it went all the way around over Russia, yeah? No, no. Don't know why it, uh, it uh, took longer than what it normally would have done. Uh, he did a fl he did a bit of a U-turn round uh, Beijing. I, I I'm just looking at the flight path on the map at the moment uh, to find out why it slowed down. Um, possibly it was just the wind because it it's a journey of five thousand miles, and they lost a bit of time. But never mind, you uh, can't win them all, can you? Right, uh, what we got coming in next? Yes, it's already there. It's a British Airways. It's uh, British Airways five eight nine. This one's come from Milan, in Italy. It's the Airbus three one nine. 17 year old plane. Uh, I had a schedule. It's scheduled for 20 past 3. It's coming five minutes early. So our Italian friends will be quite happy. A bit of a wobble there. How close are we going to get to the uh, targets? To the target? We are. Oh dear me. Oh, oh. That was only a six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was only a six. Lowest score today. That was a good nearly three, four hundred yards past target. So I don't think we'll really be able to get off early. I really have to. Yeah, I think it's going to have to go right down to the end of the runway. 
to turn off. He won't be able to go. No, he won't be able to get off there. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna try. He's gonna try. He did it. Do you know what? He must have put the brakes on hard to to actually make that turn off. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look what we got. We've got another British Airways coming in. They're coming in uh, thick and fast now. They're queuing them up quite well. This one's come all the way from Marrakesh. Yeah, head again uh, with it two minutes of arrival, which is which is good. This is just a four-year-old place. Airbus 321 flying in here to Gatwick. Uh, sorry, flying into Heathrow. Yeah, total distance of 1,238 nautical miles. If anybody wants to send any messages to me, uh, I can reply to you. If you want to ask any questions, if I can answer them, I will. If I can't, I'll find out and answer them another day. This uh, plane now is British Airways 667. Come over from Marrakesh in Morocco. And then flying into London Heathrow. Plane's just four years old. The flight number was BA667. BA667. Well, I hope everyone is enjoying the uh, the chat that you get on top of the flights. Uh, you can actually watch this without me. Some people say that's far better without me than with me, but that's your choice. If you want to watch this uh, stream without me, just go over to the people at Flight Focus 365 uh, who stream this, and you will get uh, exactly what I'm seeing, but without me. So. But if you want a little bit of information and a little bit of chit chat on the side, then come to this channel, which is Airport Live Stream, Airport Live Stream, and um, brackets Heathrow Airport, because I'm normally at Heathrow, uh, but hopefully going you know, to expand to other airports later. So that's why I didn't call it Heathrow Live Stream. Does that make sense? I don't know. Don't worry. Anyway, we got the pitch airways coming in now. <laughs> oh dear thing. Well, this is quite quite good. How close is he going to be? That's a nine. I'm going to give that pilot. He's come in from Rome. I'm going to give him a nine. He's they've, they've only given him a plane that's 21 years old. Uh, could have given him a newer one. Such a good pilot to land that so accurately. That's the that's the best landing we've had today. He was nearly in in the hash marks. So that was good. Well done. Well done, uh, flight uh, BA555, which is arrived ahead of time as well. So this pilot on that plane is getting lots of brownie points today, isn't he? He's early and he landed it spot on. Uh, so well done, flight BA555. Yes. Right. Uh, the next uh, plane we've got coming in is uh, a 380. Yep. It's the Singapore Slinger, or I'm not sure which one's the Slinger. Uh, it's a, that's a Jerry, t Jerry, Jerry terminology. Uh, it's, uh, as I say, it's a, it's a 380, Airbus 380, come all the way over from Singapore, uh, 5,878 nautical miles, and it's ahead of schedule, only by a minute, so that's quite good. Now, how accurate is he going to be with his landing? I wonder. This plane's 12 years old, bit of a wobble there. It's always nice and low. Now, is he going to hover or is he going to put it down early? No, no, he's he's going to be... Oh, that's a nine. That's a good nine. That was nearly a ten. Ten foot, ten foot earlier and I'd have given him the ten, yeah? But no, he's only going to score nine, but for that big plane to get it that close to, uh, to target was good, wasn't it? So, uh, well done, Singapore Airways. As I say, we landed a minute ahead of schedule. That was an Airbus 380, the 841 variant, and the flight number was is Q308. Yeah, that was very good, very exciting. I'll tell you what, uh, it does get exciting here at times, doesn't it? Uh, And he got off onto the early step way off. Look at the size of those uh, air brakes all the way along the wing, which slow that plane down. <sighs> I must do some fact sheets for airplanes so I can sort of spread them out and say, tell you things about. Uh, and what we got coming next? Uh, we've got, uh, looks like uh, Turkish Airways. It's coming in from Istanbul. Yeah. 1,345 miles away. Here it is, coming to shop. It's a uh, Boeing 777. Turkish Airways, 12-year-old plane, it's registered in Turkey, 
Well, it would be if it's Turkish Airways, wouldn't it? A bit silly. Anyway, it would be flight numbers TK1985. Well, unfortunately, it's a little bit late. Not only is it a little bit late, but uh, Alex don't want to look at it, does Alex? Alex has lost it. This is the trouble with an AI camera, because it's uh, artificial intelligence, uh, and uh, it tracks the camera, it tra does track it automatically, uh, and it's decided not to track that one. Never mind. You can't win them all, can you? Uh, I think... Uh, that's the first plane I think Flight Focus have lost today. So, congratulations, lads. Well done. Uh, I think you do a brilliant job, which allows me to do what I do, which is make a fool of myself on the internet. So, uh, I'm not sure what we've got coming next. We've got nothing lined up. But for the information of the planes and the flights and the flight paths and everything, I use a app called Flight, Ra flight Radar 24. And uh, they seem to give me all the information I need, and I just translate it to you, and uh, which people seem to appreciate. And that's thank you very much, and uh, hope you do. Don't forget to leave messages on the chat, on the uh, YouTube chat line, and uh, I will always say hi to you and acknowledge you. Anyway, we're, we've got uh, uh, a British Airways flight coming in from Vancouver. Yes, Vancouver, the other side of Canada way the other side just above Seattle it's got a distance of 4105 nautical miles it's a Airbus 350 here it is look at that nice and solid a little bit of a wobble there as he lines it up this is uh, this plane flew first of all in November last year so look at that uh, could, it could only be four or five weeks old Wow smell but what if it's got the smell like a new car that probably has I should think don't you when you get in the, you know when you get in a new car you get that particular smell anyway let's see let's see how good this new plane can land can we will it get oh no it's very early very 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 early seven seven yep yes only a seven get the tight get the uh, nose down yes get the air brakes on yes yeah, okay, then we're only going to give it a seven. It landed early, too early to me, anyway. Anyway, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for watching today. Uh, it's now my afternoon tea break. It's half past three. I'll go down and have a cup of tea and a bun. So I'm going to actually... Uh, I shall leave the, uh, the broadcast on, and I will come back with live chat in a minute, okay? Uh, and... Uh, talked you down for the last hour most probably yeah. so, well, let's just do one more plane in shall we we do one more plane in there we go we got to uh, what are they they look like brooks don't they yeah look at that Alex is actually trying to follow the birds <laughs> absolutely brilliant isn't it anyway let's have a look uh, we got to have, of the flight coming back from Innsbruck we watched this one go out this morning taking all the people skiing and this is bringing them all back with broken legs <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, oh dear me. So this is uh, British Airways, it's flight number 687 Airbus 320. It's the 232 variant. It's just 13 years old, so sort of mid-age plane really, the best time to fly them I think. Got rid of all the gremlins and they got too old to get rusty. Why do planes don't get rusty, do they? No, I wouldn't have thought so. This is coming in quite fast. Now, what is he going to hit? He's coming in very, very fast. And he missed. Uh, yeah, we're just going to give give him the eight. Get down. Yes. Air brakes. Get the air brakes on. Put the, the engines into reverse. And will he get slowed down enough to actually leave, or will he have to go to the end of the runway? And he should leave on this exit here, if he can get round, or will he go further? Now he's going to leave on that exit. Come on, come on, turn, 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 turn. Well done. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, nice to see you all. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to shut down. I shall leave the, the video up and running for a little while. And I will come back and have a natter with you later. Be good. Be happy. Speak to you soon.
it. We're back with you. Sure am. Just had my tea break. Sorry about that, but uh, got a bit dry throat. So uh, let's get on. We'll put on and just see what's happening for the last hour, shall we? We've got the planes coming in on a regular basis, as usual. Let's uh, just stick, go to the computer and we stick uh, Flight 24 on. See what we've got coming in next, shall we? Uh. <coughs> Righty, oh then. Look at that. I come back, there's nothing landing. But there will be something coming in any second. Now, yes, we've got another plane coming in to land. Uh, what have we got? Uh, yeah, we've got a Lufthansa coming all the way from Munich. It's scheduled to a land at uh, 10 to 4. Um, we're 10 past 4, so it didn't quite make the 15 minute slot. Still, never mind. Be a little bit late, but never mind. You can't knock him all, can you? Should be coming into view any second now. There we go. There it is. That's a Lufthansa. Uh, it's an A320 with the variant of 271N. This is brand new plane. Well, May last year. Anything that's been in a year, they always refer to as new. As you can see, it's got a nasty little wobble on it, but uh, that's due to the sheer fact of coming from the sheds. Uh, the sheds are the hangars that uh, line the runway and you get a bit of an updraft from them with the wind in that direction. So, did it land? Yes, it, it's down quite well. So that was flight 2476 all the way from Munich. That's in Germany, for those people that don't know. I'm, as you say, I'm in, in the UK. Uh, I mustn't take anything for granted. Some people don't know that Munich's in Germany, but Munich is in Germany. If you didn't know, you know now. And if you did know, well, never mind, eh? Uh, right, what we got next coming in? It's another Lufthansa. So that's two from Lufthansa. This one's come from Frankfurter. Frankfurter, that's the name of the sausage Frankfurt. Sorry, I do apologise. <laughs> I am taking the tablets and I will get better. This is an Airbus 320. I say, come all the way from Frankfurt. It's uh, it's only a 352 mile journey. It takes about an hour, 15 minutes normally. It's coming in a little bit late, 20 minutes late, uh, uh, but it did take off nearly 50 minutes late. So it's made up a lot, a lot of time. It's such a short journey. So the pilot there did very, very well. As I say, it is an Airbus 320. The plane's six years old. It first flew in September 2017. The reference number, or the registration number of the plane is AINI. If you want to check that out, you can find out all the history of the plane. Anyway, it's coming in now. It's coming in quite fast, believe it or not. Look at this. It does look nice, doesn't it? Is it going to hit the hash mark? Do you know, this is going to be quite close. That's a nine. That's a good nine. He was in the hash marks. Was dead centre, but he was in the hash marks. So we're going to give him a nine. Very well. Get the air brakes on. Yeah, and put the uh, jet engines in reverse. And we slow the plane down. And we should leave at the correct exit. Done very well there. Anyway, uh, welcome everybody back. Uh, I'm sorry I had to go out and have a little break for 20 minutes. Uh, and so there was no uh, audio, but we're back now doing the audio on the channel, so hopefully you appreciate it. Don't forget, you can always leave messages and text uh, chat to me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, right, uh, the next flight coming in. It's uh, British Airways. This one's coming back from Belfast. Yep. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear, 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 dear me. Very, very late. Yes, it was... Uh, it was scheduled to take off at quarter past 11 this morning. It didn't take off till nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So there you go. Uh, that was quite a long four-hour delay. And it's obviously going to land four hours late. So it's a shame, really. But there you go. Some flights are early, some flights are late, and some flights are very late. Which is this one, over four hours behind schedule. When, when you think about it, it's going to only come from Ireland. You could have nearly walked as quick. Well, maybe not. Anyway, it's got a bit of a wobble on it again. Why it was late taking off, I'm not sure if it was late going in. Uh, the planes, a, uh, it's an Airbus 319, uh, variants 131, that's 23 years old. First flew September 2000. And it comes, coming in quite fast. And, oh, bit of a up and a down there, wasn't it? Did you notice that? He was coming in and then he put a bit of a, 
pulled on the stick and it went up a little bit and then back down again. Anyway, we're back down, we're nice and safe. Got the air brakes on, yep, put the jet engines in reverse and we're slowing down and we should leave on the correct exit, hopefully. Right, uh, coming in thick and fast now, the planes. Uh, what have we got coming in now? We've got a Dreamliner, the bendy wingy planes coming in. It's a uh, Boeing 787 version 8 Dreamliner. This one's come all the way from Casablanca. Yes, because it's operated by Royal Air Morocco. That's what it tells me, so uh, we will see. Here it comes in now. We'll have a look at the livery. Just confirm that uh, the information that Flight Radar 24 has given me is correct. Which nine times, well, more than nine times, 99 times out of 100, they're spit on. Got a bit of a wobble on there, but not too bad at all. Do Yes, this is definitely ever rock. Look at the tail fin. You can see that's stunning, isn't it? Coming in very fast, very land. How are we going to get a good landing? I think we are. No, no, no. A good overshot. Oh, dear me. That was nearly a six. That wasn't good at all. Uh, never mind. Uh, get the brakes on. Yeah, yeah, slow the plane down. That's the most important thing. Anyway, that's uh, it's a seven-year-old plane. Yep, it's just seven years old. That's quite young, really, in the life of a plane. Uh, as I say, the uh, oldest plane we've had fly today was a uh, United Airways one that went over to New York, and that, had, that was 30 years old. Wow, yeah. I wouldn't even go in a car that's 30 years old, let alone a plane. <laughs> yes, I would. Of course you would, because they're so well serviced. Right, what we got coming in next? Uh, coming in next all the way from uh, Riyadh in Morocco again. Obviously, two planes back to back coming from Morocco. This one's. Uh, Operated by Saudi Airways, and so it's not. It's come from Riyadh, not Morocco. I do apologise, uh, and it's got a particularly livery on it. I'm not sure if we'd be able to see. It's uh, got the. Uh, I'm not sure what livery this is. Anyway, it's got a different livery on it, so we'll check it out when it lands. It's a Boeing Boeing Triple Seven. It's a 368 version with the ER. The age of the plane is six years. That's nice and steady. Yeah. So we've got no wobble on that at all. Oh, a little bit of a dive then and a wobble then. That's the old shear factor from the sheds. Oh, and a dive down then. Oh, this could be interesting. The pilot is certainly flight fighting with this, isn't he? But it's coming down okay now. I think he's got it. Oh, he's put the nose up a bit too far. Oh, this is very, has been a up and down landing, but he did land it for a nine. So after all that, he got it in the hash marks. So well done, well done to the pilot male or female, but we'll just call it the pilot, shall we? We won't say he done well or she done well. We'll say the pilot did excellently well. That was flight number, believe it or not, uh, SV117. So if you're sitting in the terminal at Heathrow and you want to know if the person's arrived, just tune into this channel and you can actually watch their plane arrive on the runway. So you know now it's time to pay for your coffee or pay for your sani and make your way to arrivals. Normally, I'm not sure what the delays are in customs today. Hopefully not as long as what they can be. They can be horrendous, can't they? So, uh, we last time we came into Heathrow, we were straight through. I could not believe it. I was, I was prepared for a two-hour wait, and uh, we came straight through. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, what's the next flight arrival we've got coming in now? Uh, it's one a minute. This is Emirates. Uh, this is the big bugger. Yep, it's got four engines, so we know exactly what it is. I don't have to tell you, but you can wait until you see it appear on the screen. It will appear in three, uh, uh, two, one, and there it is. Yes, it's a 380. You're quite right. This one's come all the way from Dubai. It's had a it's 2,971 nautical miles, and uh, it took off seven and a half hours ago, which isn't too bad, is it? Uh, anyway, let's just see how close he gets to the hash marks. The big plane still wobble as much. It's, I think it's mostly related really to the uh, area of the wing. Uh, obviously, the bigger the plane, the bigger the area of the wing, so the wind affects it just as much. So here we come in. It's coming in nice and shallow. Uh, get the nose up. Yes, got the nose up. That's doing well. And he's going to put that down just short of the hash marks. Eight and three quarters for that. Not bad at all. Uh, let's put uh, the air brakes up. See the air brakes go up. And put the engines, the engines into reverse. And use the brakes on the wheels. You'd notice, uh, though it's got four engines, the air brakes are only on the inner two, not on the outer two. Uh, there was no need. They managed to slow the plane quick enough with only two air brakes or two jet engines in reverse. 
So that's good. So that one's landed very well. Uh, we're going to go uh, on for a little bit longer today. Uh, normally I pack up about now because it gets too dark, but as I had a, a break and left you alone for a little while, I thought, well, I'll come back and give you a bit more information of what's uh, what's going on here at London Heathrow. For those people that uh, are in all corners of the world, I always assume that everybody's just around the corner, possibly don't even know where Heathrow Airport is. Well, it's just outside London in the UK. It is London's major airport. It's the ones where all the scheduled airlines fly into, like British Airways and Qantas and uh, United and American. Yes, this is the base. This is the major one for scheduled flights. If you're coming in by charter, uh, you normally go to Gatwick uh, if you come in by a charter flight from uh, a long distance. And then if you're using one of the budget airlines, you're into Stansted or Luton. Stansted is operated by Ryanair and EasyJet, and Luton has mainly Wizz Air and EasyJet. So there you go. They're the four major air airports now in London, uh, which caters for all types of traffic and all types of people. But as I say, here at uh, Heathrow, we only have two runways, which is amazing when you think uh, such a busy airport and only has two runways where you have people like Chicago and New York have six, seven and eight runways. We only have two. But then it does concentrate all the flights in one area. So the next plane we've got coming in from British Airways and this one's come all the way from Barcelona. Yeah, it's a Airbus 320. That's right, Airbus 320. It's only 13 years old, so not too bad. First flew in January of 2010. Should be coming into shot any second now. Uh, three, two, one. Is it coming? No, can't see it. Where is it? Uh, has has uh, Alex lost it? Alex is the name of the camera, by the way, that uh, follows the aeroplanes in, and it's missed this one. Oh dear me! Never mind. We'll have to wait for the next one. So I can tell you that it was a uh, it was flight BA four seven five, and it has landed. It's landed successfully, even though we have no imagery of the landing. Never mind. Uh, it should have arrived at quarter to four and it's arrived at quarter past four so it's missed its target time so it only gets an orange for punctuality it did travel a total distance of 620 nautical miles and it took one hour and 54 minutes to get here which isn't bad at all uh, the reference number of the airplane was in fact e u y f great we've got another plane on approach now i'm not sure well uh, whether alex will find it uh, this time it did struggle to find the last plane. Uh, the visibility is quite poor now and it is dark. Uh, and as this camera is fully automated, it's operated by artificial intelligence. It has got the plane. And this is the uh, Istanbul to uh, London Heathrow. And this plane is the uh, British Airways one with the One World livery on. That's it, the One World livery. It's an Airbus 320. It's just 10 years old. First flew in November 2013. Uh, oh dear me, the camera the camera is struggling today. Yeah, we I don't normally uh, carry on this late because the camera being an automatic camera does struggle. Anyway, the plane's coming in quite steep and quite fast. I think it look like it was going to overshoot. I think it's going to. No, not too bad. We we give that an eight for accuracy. We haven't had no tens today. We've had a couple of nines, but no tens. Air brakes, yeah. Uh, engines in reverse and we just slow the plane down nicely yep, that's absolutely brilliant that was good well, I don't know how much longer we'll keep going how long we will go as long as the camera can keep up with the planes uh, uh, the camera does struggle with low light like this anyway uh, we've got a British Airways flight joining next it's, this one's uh, come down from Manchester yeah, it's not too far away it's only a match back 132 nautical miles away uh, flight times just 47 minutes 47 minutes so it's amazing you turn up at the airport three hours beforehand you spend 45 seven minutes in the air and then you spend two hours at the other end so uh, so when you think a 47 minute journey takes you nearly six hours because of queuing and doing it's, it's hilarious isn't it uh, anyway here it comes in now we've got it in shot uh, wish adrian luck to see if uh, alex sorry alex alex can follow it alex is the name of the camera it's AI, Alex. A I couldn't think. A Arian, I, I might have to give. Might even rename it. Anyway, we've got a lot, nice lot of wobble on there, haven't we? Planes wobbling all over the place. So, but how accurate is it going to be? This is the question. Will it get down? A relatively new plane, at, uh, just one year old, and 
now that just overshot slightly. First flew in October 22, that's October 82. It was an Airbus 320, the 251M variant. And the flight number, if you're sitting in the uh, British Airways Terminal 5 waiting to meet somebody, the flight number's just arrived, it's 1399. So uh, hopefully by uh, the time they get to the terminal and uh, climb through their luggage, we'll hopefully meet them in about 14th of June. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Sorry. Sorry, I do apologise. Anyway, let's see what we've got coming next. Uh, as I say, it's one a minute at the moment. Uh, it's quite a busy time, people coming in. Uh, so the, ne the, the next flight is uh, Aer Lingus. Yeah, that's right, Aer Lingus. It's coming back from Dublin. Yes, this is uh, always oh, quite late again. Uh, there's obviously been some trouble with Dublin Airport today because most of the flights in Dublin have come in late. Uh, Alex has lost it. Oh, is Alex going to find it? Yeah, Alex has found it. Well done, Alex. Uh, tried hard i've got a feeling we've got somebody up there operating that at the moment because it's not as smooth as what it usually is and oh one plane hit one wheel down first must be a bit of wind coming from the left hand side so that was due to five half past three and it's coming at 22 minutes past four so 45 minutes late so we get a red mark for that i do apologize but there you go it's not me that gives out the colors you get green orange or red that is red Airbus 320, flight number EON 168 from Dublin. It's only an hour and five minutes, so uh, obviously it didn't loop around Manchester as it came in. <laughs> no, it must have taken off late. Did it take off late? Yes, it took off over an hour late, so there you go. There's the reason for that. So we got uh, Air France coming in next. Uh, this comes from Charles de Gaulle in Paris. This is just 48 minutes. It's just a little hop over, over the channel. An Airbus 220. This is well ahead of schedule. It was due to arrive at 1635 and it's coming in at 1623. So definitely gets the green light with a star, I would think, wouldn't you? This is a brand new plane. Yes, January 2023. Anything within a year is normally classified as a new plane. And I do like the tail fin on the Air France planes. Yeah. Oh, it's coming in quite steep. It is coming in very, very steep and quite fast. That is definitely going to overshoot. Yes, I thought it would do. Look at that, it's only just touched. That's a five. That was so far over, wasn't it? So far, it missed it by so much. Only gonna give that a five. That's the lowest score one today. He's missed by the most, so I do apologize to Air France. Uh, at the moment, you hold the wooden spoon for the worst landed plane. Right, let's see if we get a better one. This is British Airways. Come on, you've got competition now. This is coming in from Amsterdam. Left about an hour ago, does a journey of about 198 nautical miles. It's uh, Airbus 319. That's right, Airbus 319. It's quite an old plane, 22 years old. First flew in February 2001, I think, 2001. First time it flew. And it should come into shot any second now. Here we are. Yeah, uh, for those who are interested, I get all my flight information from the people at Flight Radar 24 who supply me with the flight information and it's very very accurate now and again they lose a plane now and again but uh, not that often but we most of it always work it out at the end which is the most important thing if you want to know where I get my video stream from because I am not at Heathrow Airport I am not stuck on top of a building I am not uh, wrapped up like a polar bear filming this no we've got an automated camera located on a building at Heathrow operated by AI artificial intelligence which apparently has got twice as much intelligence than me and that's not hard to achieve is it and that does all the tr tracking for us so uh, and the people at uh, flight focus 365 do a terrific job and I'd like to thank them on behalf of me and anybody else who's watching my channel yeah do a good job unfortunately uh, when they first started there was no sound uh, then they managed to put the uh, ambient sound, you know, the sound of the aeroplanes, which was good, but they haven't co conquered the uh, the voice or flight information. So that's what I do. I thought instead of moaning to them and say, when's it going to happen? They said they didn't know when. I said, well, I'll do it myself. So that's it. I set up myself a little desk with a couple of computers on, and I just sit here and talk planes down. Uh, be sitting at the airport, doesn't it? Don't get cold. Anyway, what we got coming next? We've got a uh, Malaysian Airways coming down from Kuala Lumpur. 
It's an Airbus 350, my favourite plane. Yep. Love flying in the Airbus. Loads and loads of room, especially the 350. Uh, Okay, so this, this plane is about five years old. First flew in February 2018. It's coming in nice and slow. The pilot's got it under total control. Uh, how close is he going to get to the landing spot? Yeah, a li little bit short. A little bit short was the first touchdown. Uh, did very well. Anyway, that was a flight of 14 hours, actually. So it's taken him 14 hours to do 5,729 nautical miles. Well, well done. Right, we'll do a couple more because it's beginning to get a little bit too dark now for the camera, for Alex to follow the uh, follow the planes. So I'd like to say thank you very much to everybody. It's been a cracking day. Uh, what else could you want to do on a Saturday than uh, watch aeroplanes so uh, I'm going to close down now it's been very nice to speak to everybody again just as I close down I'd like to find in my two suppliers the people who supply me with the video which is the people who fly focus 365 well done thank you very much a trouble free day I think your cameras getting better and better every day and also for the flight information which is supplied by Fla flight radar uh, 24 your service is absolutely brilliant yes uh, I recommend it to anybody if you do want uh, to track planes anywhere in the world flight radar 24 does it for you and it does a superb job and it keeps things up to date which is uh, brilliant uh, certainly the coverage they give at Heathrow cannot be beaten I've tried a few other apps but nothing competes with uh, flight radar 24 and uh, I'd like to thank the people particularly at flight radar for such a good service without them and without flight focus we wouldn't be able to do this together Anyway, nice. Oh, oh, oh dear me. Oh, this could be a go around. This could definitely be a go around. Are we going to finish the day off with a go around? He was all over the place with that approach, wasn't he? No, he's got down all right. That's the shed effect. That's the wind blowing off the sheds uh, on the side of the runway. Uh, he was up and down like a yo yo. I hope everybody was strapped in nice and solid. Because <laughs> if they weren't, uh, they'd, be, they'd have been laying in the aisle, I would have thought, with that flight. Anyway, let, let's, uh, let's close down there. Anyway, look, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Be good. Be happy. And don't forget, we'll see you, see you again, uh, possibly one day next week. I don't know which day. We're going to start going. Uh, tomorrow's uh, New Year's Eve. Monday's New Year. We might come out again on Tuesday. I'm looking, uh, when I set the channel up officially, I'm looking for uh, doing... Uh, two days a week uh, I don't want this to rule my life and possibly the two days I will do will be Tuesdays and Fridays or Tuesdays and Saturdays I, I've not I certainly won't do Wednesdays because uh, Jerry Jerry Dyer from Big Jet TV does Wednesdays and does Sundays so they're his days you can't compete with him because he is God as far as uh, uh, flight uh, plane and Heathrow and everything to do with planes and on the internet great guy been following him since day one. I remember when he started broadcasting with an iPhone up against the fence. Him and uh, oh, what was his co-conspirator in them days? Johnny. Yeah, little Johnny. Yeah, they were great. Uh, did enjoy did enjoy their first. Uh, anyway, he's gone a lot better now. So if you want to follow somebody, I can suggest you if you want a professional somebody to do it, not an idiot like me, go over to Big Jet TV. Do a brilliant job. Anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in today and we've had an up and down day we spent most of the morning trying to get the system up and running properly hopefully it has been up and running we've had no negative feedback from people hopefully the video was a bit more solid today and not as jerky as what it was yesterday and hopefully the audio was working uh, and didn't go down uh, it did go down for a couple of hours but it is working okay now so tell you bye see you again next week over <laughs>